My name is Jeremy Racine and I am a postdoctoral scholar here at the Jackson Laboratory. I study type 1 diabetes, specifically developing therapies for type 1 diabetes. So my graduate school work was focused on using bone marrow transplantation as a therapy for type 1 diabetes. So taking what the bone marrow transplantation scientists in my graduate school lab were working on as means to improve bone marrow transplantation, I took those procedures and applied them to treating type 1 diabetes. Bone marrow transplantation is a very difficult procedure, it's very harsh, and so it's currently reserved for particular diseases such as leukemia, lymphomas. However, if you could improve bone marrow transplantation so that it's safer, patients such as those suffering from type 1 diabetes or lupus might actually be able to take advantage of that therapy. I like being able to read what other people have done and apply uh, knowledge in the field to new problems and to expand the knowledge base. So um, take what people have done in another field and apply it to immunology and what I'm working on so that I can expand our knowledge of my particular projects. I first got to know Jeremy, oh God, maybe five, six years ago now, um, when he was a graduate student at the City of Hope uh, just outside of Los Angeles, um, in, uh, California. He's really, really smart. As a matter of fact, you want postdocs in your lab that are smarter than you are, and that's one of the, that, that, that's, I, I, I strive for that. He gobbles up the literature, okay, so he, he can form questions. He knows, uh, he, he, he knows what's already been known, okay, which, which is, is important, and he's willing to put in the time, whatever it takes to, to, to get the job, job done. Uh, and uh, tenaciousness, uh, you can have a hypothesis that gets shot down by uh, an ugly gang of facts. So you've got to regroup. So you've got to have, you know, you, you, you can't let uh, experimental failure disappoint you in this game. You have to come right back in the next day and start anew, okay? And uh, uh, he can do that. And that's, you know, that's very important. I always tell all of my, my trainees, you've got to have a very thick skin in this game. You know, there's a lot of rejection, and there's a lot of uh, beautiful hypotheses shot down by ugly gangs of facts, which you've got, which you've got to recoup from and, and keep on going. And uh, he seems to have those, those qualities. The Jack Scholar Program, through which I became a postdoctoral scholar here, um, it was an extra... Um, enticement to come to Jackson. Um, it seems like Jackson really pushed for postdoctoral fellows to develop their career outside of just laboratory research. Being a principal investigator is more than just the science and the bench work. You have to learn how to manage people, you have to learn how to manage funds, you have to learn how to manage a mouse colony. And those are sort of things they don't necessarily teach you in graduate school, and they don't necessarily teach you in many postdoctoral programs. A lot of places uh, just use postdocs as pairs of hands. Uh, you know, try to get them in as cheap as you can, um, use them up, chew them up, spit them out. And that's not, not, not the approach uh, we've had at JAX. We actually have a program where there's expectations of the fellows, Okay, uh, what to, and uh, that there's milestones or, or uh, that set for them that you know that we want to see them to develop into individuals who can become um, in, you know their own independent investigators. They're uh, expected to actually give uh, presentations of their work at least once a year uh, at one of these venues. And but on the flip side, and this is equally as important, the, there's expectations on the mentor. Okay which is very Im important, where they're looking to see, are you doing right by the postdoc? Are you making sure, you know, A, they are, are you helping him or her with, with their grant applications, with their papers? Um, are you making sure that they get to attend and present their work at national and, and international meetings? So it, 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 it's a two-way review, and that's what kind of has made our program unique at the beginning. But uh, other institutions are now copying what we've been doing for well over 20 years. And so I, th I th think that's, a, that's an important part, part of the program here. Jackson really wanted to develop the whole scientist. In fact, they have a program here called the whole scientist. Um, and that really excited me. Um, I knew that I would get the science background in any postdoctoral fellowship I did. I just didn't know if I was going to get everything that else that comes with training to become a principal investigator. And Jackson has that.